everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of misty morning and that is it. Clean and fresh, so good, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, cup of coffee, maybe something harder, as I always say, maybe some rum. It is Friday, TGIF guys, TGIF. So today is going to be an interesting one. It is an icon day. Last time we talked about Nikon, we were talking about the Z9, a very good camera at a good price too. So today we're gonna to be talking about a collaboration with Nikon and two other companies. Now, I saw this article over on Petapixel and I thought that it was interesting because I want your thoughts on this because I think it is something that we should consider because of what Nikon has been doing as of late, all of the restructuring. Now, before I get into this, I wanna say thank you to everyone that has contributed to the fundraiser already. If you haven't, you can click this little icon over here that says donate. Basically, this fundraiser is all about men's health. It is No Shave November, testicular cancer, prostate cancer, suicide, mental health issues, all of this but on the men's side. So this, uh, this beard is like day 12, I think. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. By the time 30 days goes by, it's literally going to be like Santa Claus. I don't know. That's just the way it is. It's driving me nuts, but we're going to push through it. Now we had a goal of $500 and we have already exceeded that goal. We think by the time you watch this, we're going to be close to about $600, which is crazy. It's absolutely awesome. Now remember, 100% of the proceeds from this fundraiser goes directly to the children over at St. Jude's Research Children's Hospital. Basically, they specialize in children's cancer. And not only do they help the kids get better, but they also help the families. And the families do not have to pay a single dime for all of that treatment, which I think is wonderful. Also, since it's a research hospital, it'll also help prevent child cancer by all the research that they do. 100% nonprofit. I love St. Jude's, been contributing to them basically all of my life, and I am thankful that you guys want to also. So once again, if you haven't contributed and you want to, you can click right here, this little blue icon that says donate. I encourage you to do so. Also, if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books, 10 tips at making tax sharp images. Also the prologue to my new book that you can find on Amazon or you can get over my website, how to create a digital Fort Knox backing up your digital life. Grab it. It's free. You'll have something to read over the weekend and it won't cost you anything. So anyways, let's get right into this. Once again, this article was originally from Petapixel, so we want to give them credit. And what they say is that Nikon has announced a partnership with lighting manufacturers, Nissan, as well as Profoto, but it is unclear to what this will mean to consumers. Now, an announcement via Profoto through Nikon Australia says that the partnership promises a collaboration between the camera company and both lighting manufacturers. Now, this is the quote. Nikon Australia is pleased to announce that Nikon Corporation will be collaborating with Nissan Japan, Profoto Sweden on speed light and studio lighting products. Very interesting, right? Very interesting. In a press release, Profoto explained a bit more on what this will mean, stating that the collaboration will, quote, further improve functionality for professional photographers. What the hell does that mean? further improve functionality for professional photographers. Okay. Now this announcement of this collaboration between Profoto and Nissan is kind of strange because the products that are produced by Nissan as well as Profoto, some of them are already compatible with Nikon. So why do we need this collaboration? A perfect example here is Profoto Air Remote TTLN, Profoto Connect N, as well as Profoto A10N. And then on the Nissan side, they have the DI700A as well as the Air One Commander. These are all already compatible with the Nikon product. Now the folks over at Petapixel said something like, this could infer that Nikon is trying to work more closely with Profoto as well as Nissan to maybe create an integrated wireless flash trigger for both of these companies. So this is a possibility because we know like companies like Phase One in the past have created cameras that already have Profoto integration built into it. So you don't need some type of command module to use them. 
which is kind of cool. Now, what Petapixel said is that they reached out to Nikon for a comment, and the only thing that they got from them was, quote, we are testing compatibility after discussions with Nissan Japan and Profoto regarding applicable products. Testing compatibility. That doesn't make any sense. Once again, these things are compatible already. The only thing I can think of is maybe Petapixel is right when it comes to maybe this integration idea. That is definitely a possibility. But of course, there's no hard data on this, so that's all we can do is speculate at this point. But what we do know is that Nikon has been restructuring for the last couple of years, and they're doing an exceptional job at it. And maybe this has something to do with that. Maybe they're trying to, once again, cut some fat. And how would you do it? Maybe, just maybe, maybe we get rid of the SB line. They're speed lights. So you don't have a speed light, an SB 600, 700, 5,000. Maybe you nix them all and then sign some type of agreement with Nissan. And maybe you do the same thing with Profoto and then make money off these agreements instead of having to spend all of the money on R&D and on production and all the rest of this stuff. Once again, ROI return on investment. And Nikon has been doing a really good job when it comes to it. We saw that they've actually pulled out positive for Q2. And I just reported on that, I think it was yesterday, the day before. So the numbers are starting to swing up into their favor. The only way they were able to do it is by restructuring. And once again, I think that they're doing an exceptional job at it because there's a lot of people that have already written off Nikon and said, you know what? They're out of business. They're not going to be able to sustain and they're going to sell out to someone. And it doesn't look like that's happening. The Z9 has definitely excited, put a fire underneath the pants, let's say, of their fans. And the fans that are out there, their consumers are saying, you know what? They look like they're moving forward. We're not going to jump ship as of yet. We're going to stick with them because it looks like they're starting to ramp up and things are going well. And this is the type of thing that a lot of the manufacturers that are having a hard time need to do. Same thing when it came to Olympus. Olympus wasn't able to get their base excited about any of the products. And what ended up happening was they ended up going out of business. They ended up having to sell out. So that was a major problem. I always said that I thought the biggest mistake that they made was create a $3,000 plus dollar Micro Four Thirds camera. I said that was going to be the nail in the coffin and that was exactly what ended up happening. They should have been making more of the consumer-based cameras because we see that Nikon as well as Sony and Canon are reducing production of consumer-based products. They're going towards the prosumer and the pro-base. Companies like Olympus, now OMD, can capitalize on that market and say, well, we're the only ones in the game doing consumer-based anything. Let's do it and do it well. So we'll see what ends up happening with OMD. But when it comes to Nikon, I want to see them do fantastic. And by seeing this collaboration happening, I don't know what it means. Is this positive for the consumer or is it negative? Is this going to be something that you would be excited about? Would you be upset, for example, if Nikon just got rid of all their speed lights and said, you know what? Nope, we're not doing speed lights. If you want to get a speed light, go to Nissan. I don't know. I really don't know. What are your thoughts on it? What do you think? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's short but I just wanted to get this out to you and get your thoughts over the weekend. Once again, check out my books over there at jcristina.com forward slash books. You'll have something to read for free. Also, if you like the video, please throw it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click this little bell icon over here. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And finally, head over to my website, jcristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years, and hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. TGIF. Stay safe and stay healthy.